The next thing I would like to talk about in the ex in the exploration, I guess we can call it exploration part three, are the controlled uh, variables and something called confounding variables. So controlled variables are things that you control during your experiment so you know 100% it is what you're manipulating, not something else having the effect. So maybe you were designing an experiment to see who's smarter, boys or girls, and you have them take a test, but you didn't control maybe their sleep. And boys got a lot less sleep, so they didn't do as well. Or how about age, <laughs> right? If you had a whole bunch of older women do it and younger, younger like three-year-old boys, that could definitely have an effect. So it's things that you are controlling to make sure the one thing you're identifying or the one thing you're performing your experiment on is being measured. Not only do you need to identify them in your IA, you need to talk about what happens if they're not controlled. So if we used our example of age on test scores, yeah. People with, that are older might do better because they have more access to knowledge or more experiences or whatever. There's something else called confounding variables. A confounding variable is something that's almost impossible to control. So it's good to mention them here because this might be something you will talk about at the end of your IA when you're evaluating the overall experiment. So for example, um, if you were doing the same experiment and uh, you wanted to who is smarter, boys or girls, and you controlled how much time they slept, you controlled the age, they were all 18 years old. But a confounding variable might be like, oh, I didn't think about diet. Maybe diet has an effect on their, on their test scores. Or you know what else I didn't check? Maybe I forgot to check... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of something else that might have an effect. Like what school they went to. Maybe they just had access to better education. So there's lots of things that can have an effect on, on, on your results. And when you do present these, IB likes you to present it in a table where you have your controlled variable. Let's make this a little small table here. So controlled variable age. How you controlled it, they were all 18 years old. And then impact if not controlled, older participants might perform better because they have access to more experiences. So we present those in tables.